So I previously did a video about Harvest Moon One World after only 14 hours of gameplay and now I have to eat my words, especially in regards to the storyline, scenery, and character dialogue. Hi, I'm Vita Luca and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am an avid Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, and Rune Factory fan. Have been for like my entire life, basically. Um, and what I wanted to talk about is that, um, Harvest Moon One World actually gets better after you beat the storyline. Now, I know that is just like an awful thing to hear and to say because, well, no one really wants to watch a series that only gets better after like the first four episodes or a few seasons of it. Um, but unfortunately, that's the sad reality with this game that it does just get better after you beat the storyline. And like I told Natsume that if you're gonna put in a storyline to like have it be worth a few tens of hours of gameplay, I'm actually kind of glad that this one's really short and really easy for you to power through because the scenery, the festivals, and just the character development, dialogue, everything, it just gets so much better. And some of it is the best that has ever been produced, at least as to what I can remember. And we're going to touch on it. So yeah, that's what I have to eat about the storyline. It still sucks that there's a story and that we have to beat it. And it's the same story as all the other games. That still stands. But the fact that this story doesn't take you that long to beat is amazing because um, if it took longer, none of us would be playing, like really, because they really overdid it with the barrenness of the landscape, which also makes sense because the land is barren and you have to save the harvest goddess to make it better. So like, it makes sense, but... Once you do resurrect her, a lot of like places that were previously barren do get flowers and trees and things to fill it. And I'll put in some examples so that you can see that. But um, for the most part, there are still a lot of areas that don't have anything. And I think it would have been better if they put those, they filled those places when you got the medallion for the area. And then they did way more once you actually beat the game. But then I also have a feeling that they have a lot of the void because, well, it's an open world and there's already bugs and issues with um, glitches that happen. And it would happen a lot more and be a lot worse if they were to have it more filled. Cause you know, that's, that's just the thing that happens with open world, glitches and stuff happen. But, um, they're not bad at the moment. Like, I'll put up a few examples of just some stuff. It'll just be like a random black area and then it'll come back. That's mainly the type of glitches you get or maybe it'll be like slow character dialogue. But it's nothing awful. And it's not like your game just froze out of nowhere. Like, it'll come back. It might take a while, but it comes back. And even then, I've heard of Pioneers of Olive Town having to be stitched up and repatched. So things happen and they can be fixed. Um, I don't know if they're going to work on ever fixing those, but... They could be. And then now with character dialogue, because, oh my gosh, during the storyline, it was so dry, so boring. It had like nothing to do with anything and you could skip like 99% of it. But after, and when you start to like woo someone, it gets so much better. They will talk to you about what you previously saw at their heart event, or they will... Even like after you get married, people will congratulate you for getting married. And then also you will like people will talk about you being pregnant or your wife being pregnant. And then they'll also talk to you about having the baby. I don't remember a Harvest Moon game that talked about any of those. Like it's I it's trust me, I've played a lot of Harvest Moon games if there aren't any, it's probably just been a really long time since I played them, or I just simply haven't played them. Like, there might be in a few that I just haven't played, because there are, there's like two Story of Seasons that I haven't played, but I can tell you they don't do this in Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. 
Nobody talks about your baby unless you play the doctor $10. And nobody talks about anything else. And I would hope if you're dating half the town that they would say something, but they don't. They don't even say something about the golden lumber anymore. Like, that sucks. That was like such a great thing to just have everybody hate you just because you put a piece of golden lumber on your land. Anyways, yeah, they talk about different things. And so I ended up marrying Sammy. And I'm going to give like tips and tricks because getting married was one of the hardest things ever to have to try to figure out what you were doing because they would say one thing and it's just a, it's a completely different thing. And a lot of the festivals and everything's like that too. Like there are some glitches in the game. But this game goes from mediocre to actually being good once you beat it. And once you can just free play, get married, do whatever, participate in the festivals. There's lots of like little dating festivals that you can do. The person that has the most hearts for you will also like either console you after and be like, oh, I know it's not the outcome that you wanted, but you know, you did your best. Or they'll just congratulate you for winning and be like, you know what, let's celebrate and go do this after. Though you never do it. But actually, I really like their festival setup for this game because no matter what, you still have time during your day. So all the 10 a.m. festivals, you have to talk to the person before 10 a.m. Otherwise, you cannot participate at all. They'll end around 5 or 6 p.m. So I just typically deal with my garden and then go talk to it to them. And then I just deal with my animals after and it takes however long it's going to. But then all the 7 p.m. festivals, if you get a date, you will be interrupted from whatever you're doing right at 7 to go down to the festival, meet your date, have your little date thing with whatever's going on, whether it's the Lantern Festival or the Northern Lights Festival, like these really cute things. And then it'll end at 8 p.m. And so you can still finish off whatever you were doing. To get like a good amount of sleep in this game, all you have to do is be in bed by 10. You can even go to bed like 11, but you'll, you just won't have that full stamina. But even then it's like fine. Um, and also, the more that you complete the game, the more stamina hearts you get. So that's also extremely helpful. Um, but yeah, honestly, the game isn't that bad and the character dialogue is amazing. So when I married Sammy, um, like when you go up to the person, you can choose to propose or not to propose. I just went propose because your wedding will take your entire day. So prepare for that. And so we ended up going on this cute little date uh, as a walk in the mountains and he was like, oh, I really want to marry you. And your character's like, oh, well, I have a blue feather. And then you go and you talk to his dad, who, of course, his dad gives you his blessing because, you know, you saved his town and he's so happy that you, you want to be part of the clan, which I think is really cool to be part of a clan and that people have last names. Stuff, just stuff that we never had before. People have parents. That's also nice. Though they've had parents before, but like this is like really having parents that you actually ask their permission and stuff. And so, yeah, so we ended up getting married. We talked to his dad and then you go home and you tell your mom that you're going to get married. And then you guys get ready for the wedding at your mom's house, get the dress out, get the suit out. And then you go down to like the marriage ceremony place and you have this really cute, intimate wedding with family and friends. So for your family, it'll be like your mom and doc. His dad's the one who married us. And then he had, I know, I'm going to I'm gonna put his name here because I can't pronounce it. And you had Kiersey that were there. And it was just so cute. And then you're married. And then a month later, you'll end up just getting pregnant. And people will talk to you about you being pregnant. Then a month after that, you can choose whether you want a boy or a girl. I said, give me a surprise. Months later, I ended up with a little girl that they never actually stated was a girl that I don't remember anyways. But yeah, it's so cute how they do this. And yeah, so I've played about 50 hours of gameplay now. Like I've done it all in the game. I haven't been able to play it recently because I've been dealing with other stuff. But like this game went from being mediocre to being good. You just unfortunately have to get past the awful storyline. And so I'm going to be making another video about tips and tricks that you can use to get money, the process of getting married, and then also some things that you should hoard in order to just finish the game faster so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did and take days to get everything that you need. So, yeah. Uh, that's all for this one. And... Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
you can watch my previous Harvest Moon review here. Or you can watch just whatever YouTube recommends you as well. And if they're the same, then you should watch it. Bye.